Hi everyone, Brian here, back with what I picked up for this week before Christmas week, uh, 2013. Uh, so first we'll start off with a Sega Genesis game I have wanted and was curious about ever since I saw it on the Nickelodeon game show, Nick Arcade. That's Arcus Odyssey. Um, it's a game where you play as, it's like, has RPG elements, and you play as four different characters, each a different class, I believe. It's like on a tilted, isomet not isometric, but the screen's kind of tilted on a grid. And the graphics I remember seeing on Nick Arcade when they did play it were very big, colorful, and I just always wanted to try it. So I've never seen it in a while, and as soon as I saw it, I just had to pick it up. So Arcus Odyssey, and it's made by Renovation. Uh, they made a lot of good Genesis games. Um, I think they were only a Genesis developer. I can't really tell for sure, but I never remember seeing a Renovation NES or Super Nintendo game. But I could be wrong. I'll have to look at that some more. For the Wii U, I picked up Wii Party U. And this comes with a Wii Remote, a black Wii Remote Plus. It comes with a stand for, not more so a stand, but you could lay your tablet down on it and keep it more level. And it has like 80 mini games. It's a good party game, so looks like a lot of fun with multiple people. So yeah, picked up Wii Party U. For the Nintendo Wii, I picked up Endless Ocean for real cheap. Um, Endless Ocean is a very different game than what you've you, you'd expect from a game, actually. Um, you explore, basically you just see, deep sea dive and explore a whole ocean, and there's lots of stuff to see and explore. Um, very, very cool. Uh, I have the second one. This is the first one. There were two out. Um, if you ever see it, pick it up. Uh, it might be up your alley. Uh, I picked up, for the Nintendo DS, I picked up Advanced Wars Days of Ruin. This is the second Advanced Wars game for the Nintendo DS. The first one was Dual Strike, um, and it kept with the um, theme of the characters being more kitty, um, cutesy looking. Um, this one went on with they look more, more adult, um, kind of like Fire Emblem-ish. And if you've never played an Advanced Wars games, Advanced War game, there were two on the Nintendo DS, which the first one I played a lot. They're basically like Fire Emblem games, strategy, take turn-based strategy games, where you move your units and attack, defend, and set up your strategy, and the other team or the the computer moves their units, and you try to clear the board. Very fun, very addicting. They're very easy to pick up, play, and you know put your DS or whatever in the sleep, pick it up when you have time. Um, the two on the DS were very well received, as well as the ones on the, on the Nintendo uh, Game Boy Advance. And in Japan, the series actually started on the Famicom, um, as the Famicom Wars games. We never got those on the NES, but we did get the Game Boy Advance, two Game Boy Advance games of them uh, as Advance Wars. So happy to have that. Kept seeing this game all the time, uh, Glory of Heracles. It's a RPG, I believe, in Ancient Greece. I think it was developed by Nintendo, I'm not 100% sure, um, but Glory of Heracles, so real cheap, picked it up. For the Sega Dreamcast, I picked up Hydro Thunder, uh, but Hydro Thunder is a port of the arcade racing game Hydro Thunder, where you're in like a, like these motorized jet boats, um, very popular at the time, um, and this was also ported to the N64, and I don't know if it was ported to any other system, but I know N64 as well. I have yet to see that version, but I did pick up the Dreamcast game for, I think it was $250. Uh, I think probably because it was missing the front cover here. For the 3DS, I picked up Hometown Story. This is from the maker of Harvest Moon, I believe. Um, it's very similar to a Harvest Moon game. Um, I think this one you run your shop in a town, and it's kind of like a life simulator, like Harvest Moons are. Um, so it's Natsume published it, or, or yeah, published it, so hometown story. For the NES, I picked up two games. One I've been looking for for a very, very, very long time, ever since I um, went, got back into collecting NES games um, years ago, and that is uh, Mighty Final Fight. Um, for those who've never played the Final Fight series, basically they're side scroll beat 'em up, uh, or belt scroller as Japan calls them, where you um, move left to right, up and down, 
and you beat up enemies that come at you when they're dead or when they're, when they're defeated you go to the next screen and beat up enemies very very fun the Super NES game was a very early port of the arcade game in the first year of the NES's life um, very well received at the time they kind of cut back on it though as they removed the two-player cooperative mode that made it so fun and cut out one of the characters guy from it so you're only left with Cody and Hagar but I still liked it I still enjoyed it I have all three, Final Fight 1, they would release Final Fight 2 and Final Fight 3 on the SNES only, and they're very fun games. Um, they're always fun to play. This is more of a cutesy, kitty, chibi kind of beat em up on the NES because obviously you can do the giant sprites. But I always wanted to have the NES game. I do have this version, this game on the Capcom Mega Mix collection on the Game Boy Advance with a number of all. Um, on other uh, Capcom games, but I wanted to really get the uh, NES version. I'm very happy to have this finally. Also, we have from Ultra Games, uh, Konami, uh, i.e. Konami Games. We have Skier Die. Um, this is um, the third in the series of, I guess you could call them, or Die series um, of, of sport, extreme sports. I guess you could call skateboarding and snowboarding extreme, but. Um, the first was Skate or Die, which I think every kid played um, back in the early days of the NES. Uh, I rented it. I know I played it. I, it would have to be rented because I never had a friend who actually owned it. And Skate or Die 2, which I never played. Um, but Ski or Die I've never actually have been seen or played. So I'm assuming it's like Skate or Die just with skis and snowboards. So Ski or Die. And that's everything I got. I did order the um, Nintendo had a Nintendo Direct on Wednesday, I think, announcing the end of the year and um, some upcoming games in the new year. Uh, and they also had, to celebrate the year of Luigi, they had a Luigi statue based on Luigi's Mansion 2 or Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon in the U.S., North America, and it was... I ordered that, so that will be shipping in March. So I'm really looking forward to that. It's a very nice statue, about five inches, I think. Um, so looking forward to that. I hope everybody has a great Christmas, and take care. Bye.